All right, guys, checking in today with a long-awaited review here. Uh, I really want to make sure I spent uh, some serious time and did my due diligence on this one. Um, this was a review that I was really excited about, and I, I know several of you are as well. Uh, this one is the Model O- um, from Glorious Gaming. Um, obviously a, a direct competitor to the Ultralight 2 that I am really fond of. And... Uh, I am going to get pretty nitpicky on this mouse, um, so I'll start with saying it's a great mouse. So I, I do want to get that out of the way. It's a fantastic mouse. Um, given the price difference between the two, a lot of people are going to struggle to go from the Model O to the Ultralight 2, but I do think at the end of the day, the Ultralight 2 is a better mouse. So I will uh, dive into the detail here. Um, pulling it out of the box, um, it, it has a very nice... Uh, shape and is very similar in size to the ultralight 2. It is just a tad longer um, weight wise it feels outstanding I mean I think you get to a certain point and they're not really that distinguishable um, they're both just two very lightweight mouse uh, mice. The cables um, again this one uh, the Model O- has that real um, shoelacy super light um, some people are definitely going to prefer that much like the mm710 i do like the ultralight 2 a little bit better because i like my mouse to not be so flaccid i guess i don't really want to use that term but that's how i feel about it um, the uh, build quality is actually pretty good i was kind of expecting an inferior build quality i don't love the branding i wish it wasn't on there um, but the LEDs I think are a nice touch. There's lots of options in the software. You can shut them off. Um, so I don't have any issues there. Um, the buttons are, are great. They have a nice satisfying click to them. Um, I do prefer the ultralight two click, but it's, I mean, barely the side buttons are great there. Um, I really like the profile of the side buttons there. They have a good feel to them. Um, no issues that way. Um, again, I think I slightly prefer the Ultralight 2, but it's very, very close. Um, the extra length for me is not ideal. It's, it's very odd. Um, again, my hand is just over 19 centimeters long, like 1905. Um, and like 11 cent, a little over 11 centimeters wide. Um, and the way I grip the mouse, um, it actually ends up coming too, too far back into my hand. Uh, for my taste, I really like the smaller mice. Uh, lengthwise, I prefer the length of the uh, G305. Um, if you were going to um, get that picky, again, we're talking great shape, great size. Um, if I bought the gl the glorious Model O- in a vacuum, um, I would love it. I mean, it's a great mouse, um, especially for the money. I, I really enjoy it. The, the DPI steppings are fantastic. You get f the 400, 800, 1600, 3200, fully customizable out of the software. Um, the I'm a big fan of concave on the um, left and right triggers. The uh, the Model O minus is just not quite as concave as the Ultralight 2. Um, and again, that's pretty nitpicky, but I do prefer the, the Ultralight 2 um, in that regard. But as you can see, it's still more concave than something like the G Pro, the original G Pro. But the G Pro, I find, fits me a little bit better because um, it doesn't come quite so far back into my hand. Um, I, gosh, between these two, just because I, I really, when, it, when a mouse gets to be this long but is not, does not have any kind of hump in the back at all, um, I feel like I lose some control because I use, I anchor everything right here and then I use these three digits to control um, 
all the weight goes in the back, I guess. Most of the weight actually rests on my arm, but all the the pushing happens from the palm, and um, I just don't feel like I get a good direct grip for forward and back motion. Um, I would I would rather game with the G Pro. Uh, that's gonna bug some people, but I would. I, I like the G Pro side button still the best out of all of them, and the uh, I just like the feel of it for my hand size. Um, but gosh, this is a cool mouse. Um, I just wish that this had a little bit more rise to it. This is too flat. Um, I like the flat if it comes further forward. So um, in a shape preference, I like the shape of the MM710 better in the back, um, but the 710 is too wide for me. So I actually prefer the width on this one. Um, and I would ultimately choosing between those two today, I would select the Model O minus simply because um, I think the MM710's buttons are severely flawed if you go back and look at my video. And for me, they would require um, modification. And I have learned from taking apart the, three, the G305 that um, modifying the mouse can be a bit of a pain and I frankly don't like to do it. So um, I, would, I would pick this over the Cooler Master Mouse. Um, if I was on a tight budget, um, I would have no problem taking this over the Ultralight 2. Um, I prefer the Ultralight 2, but, you know, I guess if for the, you can get this now um, through a third party, um, typically unopened for around 100, 110 bucks, uh, which is still pricey, but I do think it's worth it. Um, Interestingly enough, I tried putting Infinity Skins on here because I thought that if I could raise the back, that would fix um, the issues I have with it. Especially, I could just you know get the matte white and then use the Infinity Skins. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't work for me. Um, I tried throwing them on there. It just feels goofy. It's just a little too long for the shape of the mouse. Um, I wish the length was just a tad shorter. Um, so I do not, if your hand size is close to mine, I do not advocate worrying about Infinity Skins. Um, I would just buy the mouse for what it is in a vacuum. Great mouse. I do the sides here, um, are at a fairly steep angle. And that would be another minor critique is, um, my hands struggle to get as good a grip as they do on the ultralight. The ultralight coating seems to have a easier grip to it than this does. And, uh, I do think something like lizard skins on the side of this would be helpful. And then plus you could cover up this ugly ass branding. So um, that's a win too. Um, really great mouse though for 50 bucks. I mean, this is awesome. I, I really like the mouse for 50 bucks. The grip though is so, um, the way they slope and how it lacks grip without lizard tape, I actually have to bump up the DPI a little bit because I can't churn as quickly as I can side swipe turn with the ultralight too. Um, head to head, taking price out of the equation, the ultralight too has a better finish, a better shape. Um, the infinity skins are actually helpful for tweaking. Um, the buttons are a little bit better because they're more concave and they have a more satisfying click. I prefer the cable a little bit more here, but I could see people preferring this cable. I do like the LED options here. Um, in a vacuum, no price, Ultralight 2 is a better mouse. I mean, that's just plain and simple. Um, but uh, on a budget or just refusing to buy from a third party or anything like that, this is an awesome mouse. You can't really go wrong here. What a what a cool uh, option and choice to have. Hats off to Glorious. I really dig this thing. Um, my critiques of it are extremely picky. Um, I am excited to see what else comes out in this arena, especially from Logitech. I want to see if they do anything like this. Um, I'm still trying to get my hands on a Viper to test out because um, I do want to try one of those as well. But uh, yeah, end of the day, great mouse, just not an ultralight to killer, so to speak. So if you guys have questions or comments, please drop them below. I love interacting with you and I enjoy the feedback. Take care.